Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about an incident that happened with an Asian man who shot a six-year-old boy. All right. For whatever reason, it don't even matter. They say it was a hate crime. Some people say, you know, he just wanted to do it, whatever. It don't matter. But this idiot got locked up and then posted bail for shooting a little boy. How the hell do you shoot a child and then be able to get out of prison or jail? And then he gets put back in jail because of the outcry of the public. That's how it that's how the our article was titled. He goes back to jail because of the outpour of the public. So it was the people that got this idiot locked back up. Not not justice, not not because he should be locked up, but the fact that the people were all over these uh this police department and they were uh all over social media, all right? And it was all on the internet. And people had an opinion, but the, they got the pressure put on them to lock this idiot back up. That that just goes to show how they don't care about you. And we've been telling y'all this, man. These people don't care about you. This system is not built for you to be to prosper. This is not a righteous justice system. This ain't right. This place was not here to benefit you. How the hell you shooting from your house at a child and you and this boy could have died, man. And this idiot goes to jail. Post bell gets out. Boy, it ain't uh, man. Anyway, man, I'm gonna play this clip and I'm gonna get a scripture. I ain't even figured it all. All worked up over this, this because the shit blew me when I when I saw it. But I'm gonna play the clip. Boost. And I'm trying to figure out how he got a bond that was so low for trying to kill my kid. Arnold Daniel trying to figure out why Ryan Lee Wen is out of jail. After oh look, go back, man. Look at the smirk on his face. Do you do you see any remorse or any sorrow? You know what I'm saying, or any guilt? That he feels even a little bit a sorry for what he did. Hell no, he don't care. He don't care. He just, ah, just, just, you know, I'm going to post bail anyway. I'm going to get out. Who cares? Just look at his face, man. And these people hate you. And you know what's funny, man? Joe Biden, you know, passes this, this law or executive order. Or I forget it, the terminology of it, you know, on uh, Asian hate that's been happening. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> you know, because of uh, I think uh, you know a couple of them Asians got shot, and now all of a sudden Joe Biden signed some executive order or some law for them. But you so-called Latinos, Native Americans, and Negroes have been lynched, burned to death, beaten, all right, castrated, forced into bondage for hundreds of years, and y'all don't get shit. It goes to show the mentality of this place called Babylon. He went is out of jail after allegedly shooting his son Kobe. He thought him he was a sledgehammer. But that's not going to work because I'm too fast. So then what did he do? Got a gun. Boom. Shot me right here. It's all on video Saturday afternoon on Candlewood Lane. You'll see kids playing, hear a gunshot, then Kobe realizes he's hit. Lee 
Nguyen allegedly fired through his front window. The bullet went in Kobe's arm and out the other side. He's bleeding. He got shot. Man, that shit terrible, bro. Hey, man, our people do not dwell in safety. You know, we ain't going to be safe until we get in our land. Let's go to the curses. Deuteronomy 28, 65. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. But Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have none assurance of life everywhere we go man this is what happens no matter what you can't escape the curses man it's always going to be some type of tragedy or something this is some always some always going to happen man Something's always gonna happen. Something it's like it's like your shadow follows you. You can't escape these curses until the curses are lifted up off of you. Man, you know, and and our people are still in hell, still in captivity to this very day. But when our people do our children when you know, we, when we get into the kingdom they will be safe then. Because right now we can't even enjoy our children. I believe there's a scripture on that too where it says that, you know, you won't be able to enjoy your, your, your children, you know. Because now, man, you know, so many of these kids, man. I was just watching a video of a, of a, a kidnapping that almost happened where some guy almost snatched up a child, but she fought and got away. Like, sex trafficking is at an all-time high. You know, these, you know, it's just, it's crazy, man. Isaiah 11 and 6, it says, The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf, and the young lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lay, shall shall lead them and the cow and the bear shall feed their young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like ox so it's going to be it's going to be like every <laughs> like you're not going to see lions you know running down on gazelles and all that shit like that like it's like it's going to be a it's like a peaceful environment. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't going to be like predator prey. You know, it's just going to be like all out peace. And children are going to be able to be so safe that they'll be able to be around what we consider these wild animals now. They'll be able to be around them safely. But that's in the kingdom of heaven. Right now, we are in the kingdom of hell, Babylon. And our children are not safe, man. And we are surrounded by our enemies. So with that, all praises to you. How will Vashem Yahushai?